on this stretch of land. Out, we can fly all the way, uh, probably about 100 meters past those trees. This unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV, is changing the way data is collected in the sky. Mostly seed companies are the ones that we see using these in an agricultural aspect. Its creator, the Precision Hawk Company, is working to make life easier for farmers and emergency responders. The company started in Canada, but recently moved their headquarters to Raleigh. We take those images and start to make use of that data and then build that out into a scalable solution so that a seed company can roll it out to all of their farmers and actually make decisions based on the data that we're collecting. Currently, the FAA does not allow UAVs and drones to be sold for commercial use, so Precision Hawk is partnering with NC State University, who is using the drones for their own research needs. This agricultural research farm owned by NC State serves as the plane's in-flight laboratory. Whether it's counting my crop, detecting how much nitrogen's in that crop, or even how much water contents in the soil. The Precision Hawk UAV sells for about 15 grand. There's basically no assembly required, and developers say the same day you receive the plane, you'll be up and flying. See, it was easy enough, even a journalist can do it. With a wingspan of four feet wide and a weight of just three pounds, the unmanned plane is a flying high-tech computer. It has onboard visual sensors that can snap aerial imagery at sub one pixel per centimeter. It can also depict images in hundreds of bands of light, exposing problem areas that are not visible to the human eye. The plane can also be used in emergency situations. We were invited out to the Oso mudslides out in Seattle, Washington, when that tragedy had occurred to get our platform up right away in the air to help the emergency responders on the ground um, conduct, the, conduct the search in a much safer manner. As for the everyday farmer, the company does not think they'll be intimidated by this new technology. They are becoming more technologically savvy. They are interested more so in the data and what they can actually determine or decipher from their fields. A field of data that has just been expanded. For What's Next, I'm Mike Gonzalez, WNCN News. For the latest WNCN uploads, subscribe or click here.